In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. I feel like I have some lotion on my hands. I don't like to play when I've got oil or lotion because it really gets on the instrument and it can over time, you know, then the dust from the air gets on the instrument. And then what you have is almost like uh, what you have when you have to get an oil change on your car. You have <laughs> sludge, you know, that you got to get off. Because it's oil and dirt mixed together. That's why I stopped putting oil in my hair. Because I notice every time, so you notice my hair is kind of flying around. Well, every time I used to put oil in my hair, uh, then the dust from the air comes and it creates like this sticky stuff so like you have to keep washing your hair over and over again if you put oil in it and uh it's just a waste of time so anyway and father son holy ghost amen jesus mary saint joseph and saint Teresa, pray for us i should know better every time i pick up my instrument i should first look at your bow at the bow that's the first thing you should do and see if it needs to be either tightened or loosened sometimes it actually needs to be loosened if you accidentally don't forget to loosen it and then the humidity changes gets really warm you'll see that thing just be super tight and it's like well why is that well it has to do with the wood and it, it absorbs moisture and conversely it will release moisture you know just like wood outside one of the trees you know, so it's it's perpetually changing. It's a beautiful thing. It's changing with the with nature and with the seasons. So these little adjustments are quite normal. Sometimes you'll see in cold areas that the seams will pop open on the instrument and it'll cause some, you know, sound issues. So sometimes they want to look for that. That's why I have a humidifier in my violin case, and I encourage that for all violinists. I used to just think that was. Yeah, you're over the top. When I was in youth orchestra, I see these kids with these humidifiers with like the little barometer thing. I was like, this is just too much. Well, after my seams popped in this, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the humidifier. No matter where you are, just put one in there. It's gonna save you five or six hundred bucks. <laughs> something more about this instrument and maybe I'll forget it the next day but you know it, it kind of helps you know to look, keep learning don't ever stop learning I know that sounds silly it's like a, another silly catchphrase for society but you know a priest even told me once oh you don't have to learn the faith because you'll just never be able to learn it all and I thought well poo pooey to you I mean so what if I want to learn my faith knowing I'm never going to learn the whole thing we should always be growing in our faith and how to grow in our faith is the knowledge, the learning. Just like, take Mitch Pacwa, you know, he studies. He studies, and, and you, you can almost never stump him, you know. And even if you do stump him, he's on his computer looking up the scripture because he knows that he can. He's got the resources to be able to find the answer. And that's 95% of the solution isn't just memory, muscle memory and stuff, but knowing how to find, how to do the research for the solution. Because we can never assume we have all knowledge, you know. We can never assume, oh, I know so much about the law and what it can do and can't do. Someone in the Republican Party could give you a whole new, uh, from their experiences or knowledge, give you whole new ideas of what you need to do, whether it be politically or whatever else, you know. from wrong because when these when these priests tell you wrong things you gotta listen to your conscience over everything else you know something's wrong and it stinks because once you call them out and tell them they're wrong you're out you're instantly out they have no tolerance for anyone that opposes them it's a dictatorship to them the catholic church is a communist dictatorship to them so you just have to move away or leave or just pick up your violin you know 
her boat. <laughs> You know, how much do you have to play this thing? You have to play it every day. You can't stop playing it because you'll lose the ability to be able to figure out how it works. It's kind of like, you know, any, any, uh, anything you have to, you know, like driving or anything you have to do every day. People don't think about it that way. They go, oh, I gotta get to the grocery store, I gotta get to work. But they're practicing their driving every day. Take a couple of years off of driving, and believe me, you'll suddenly be like, what is this, you know? That's why I take my skirt off because of the belt. It kind of, I don't want my bow flying. You know, I do have, you know, I'm pants on. So, it's not like I'm. But anyway, uh, because of my angle of my playing, it's mostly that problem. So, I realized, why am I having this problem all the time? I never used to have that. Well, when I lowered my violin, I suddenly created that problem for myself. But, uh, you know. So you may want to play in the more traditional form because otherwise your bow is going towards your belly and it's, you know, it's not very practical. <laughs>
I think I need some water here. You also want to stay hydrated when you play because your muscles, you know, you really find yourself feeling sluggish if you don't drink enough water. Or get enough carbs. I know it's a big difference when I eat carbs before I play. I don't know why that is. You don't have to like load yourself up on sugar or anything. But uh, that's something to do with the muscles. I don't know. Just feel a little more energy. <laughs> I kind of had a little more energy, but also it kind of messed up my wrist. I know, it's so weird, like every single part of the body's connected, you know. So I decided not to just play with a straight back so much. I don't know if that helps you at all. <laughs> playing with this with this uh, recording on because I always get tempted like oh you're showing off or you're trying to do stuff and you know that's so far from the truth and we're just craftsmen trying to learn our craft and if this helps you then great and let me tell you if you want to tune into a violinist who plays better I'm sure you can find them but maybe they won't be wearing clothes you know I mean that's the problem today <laughs> 